I believe that females represent 50% of the population and as such need to be re represented by holding 50% of seats in Parliament. Um, I think there's a huge gap between the voter demographic and who represents the voters and we need to see a lot more diversity, uh, both having women, people of colour, LGBT people um, holding seats in government because that's the population. It is vital that they focus on the policies of parties rather than just voting for parties based on their principles. Our vote is our representation in forming Australia and it's important that we vote for our needs and what is most suitable for our lifestyle choices and careers. Prime Ministers often don't follow through with their promises and if there could be one thing I could change, it would be that all politicians should be held accountable for their election promises. A big part of the main campaign platforms for the major parties is social media. I think loads of campaign videos, especially ads from Clive Palmer and um, Liberal and Labor have become a big impact in this year's campaign. And the news is one of the biggest sources of our knowledge on what is going on. It provides us with all the detail and conversations and information about this year's campaign. Uh, the lack of action directed towards climate change. Though both the Labor and Liberal parties have discussed this issue of climate change, not enough time and resources have been put into dealing with this growing problem. And their current lack of action in climate change is essentially denying younger generations like me and many others a sustainable future. Can you guarantee to the Australian people that your policies will be best to represent their views? What is your plan for Australia's future and economical development whilst also maintaining a significant path on climate change and, res and resolving the problems to do with that? What are your values and do you live out those values you preach in your everyday life? Where do you see Australia in five years? How are you going to provide solutions to climate change and are you going to listen to the children of this nation protesting against it?